Hi, Leavers. Thanks for stopping by. It's always nice to have you. I hope for those of you who celebrate Christmas, you had a great one. I've got a little Santa Claus friend over here. Well, he's not so little. Actually, he's the oldest Santa Claus I have. I remember my dad won him on the punch board when I was about eight years old, maybe 10. He should, he's, he's somewhere around 62 years old, this Santa over here. Yeah. Yes, he's an old one. Dad won him on the punch board at his favorite watering hole where him and all of his buddies used to hang out when he was a young man. Anyway, glad to have him. I, I like seeing him. Anyway, let's see what's going on with you today. What's your story, Libra? Well, you're dealing with somebody who can't seem to forget you, just can't get you out of their mind. They know they're going to have to vibe higher if they're going to get in your energy. Yeah, they just wouldn't take the relationship seriously. They, they don't think clearly. They don't have a good perception of what a, uh, a real, you know, healthy relationship is all about. They just don't get it. And they may be thinking a little more clearly now. Because they can't get you off their mind. They're praying for another chance with you. Mm -hmm. They wonder why they can't forget you. It's been easy for this person to forget uh, relationships and, and people that they've been involved with in the past. But for some reason... Their mind is blown because they can't uh, get you out of their thoughts. At some time along during this relationship, um, when you were all into it and thought things were headed in a good direction, they tried to convince you that it was all just for fun. not to take it seriously. Mm. Because they, they weren't taking it seriously. It's not that they didn't like you or care for you. It was just that they, for some reason, couldn't see the relationship working out. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said, this card here. They want you, but they don't know how this could work out. That's just what I said. Wow. Almost word for word. You know, you were pretty gullible at the beginning of this relationship. You believed them. They fed you a con artist's story. They were conning you, and you believed it. You wanted to believe it. You believed them, even though they weren't taking it seriously. You didn't know they weren't taking it seriously. Yeah. From the very beginning of your relationship with this person, they knew it wasn't going to last. It was kind of planned out from the start because this person's a heartbreaker. They're used to people chasing them and uh, they play with people's hearts and they end up breaking people's hearts. So they just figured right from the start that they'd play you and they'd probably end up breaking your heart. But they didn't care. They get some kind of twisted ego trip out of it power trip or something this person might have had their heart broken in the past seriously damaged in some affair 
And now they take it out on others by breaking other people's hearts. That's that's twisted. That's that's uh yeah. This person would yeah, you would call him a heartbreaker, that's for sure. A player, a liar. Now this person, they might be a little vengeful about the way this relationship broke up. And they might, because like I say, they're, they're, they're a little twisted. They might be looking for something that they can dig up, you know, on you, trying to dig something up that they can hold over on you to try and make themselves not look so bad. But you were too honest in the relationship, and they, they can't really find anything to say bad about you. They'd have to make up a lie if they wanted to slander your name or, or whatever. They just they can't dig up anything on you. This person somewhere along the line replaced love with lust. Yep, they just shoved love out of their heart and out of their mind. To them, you know, love was a game. And maybe they showed their affection, if they have any or whatever, through lust. This person's messed up in that department, I'll tell you that. So they could have, you know, they were conning you, so they could have turned into ice at one, at one part of this relationship. You realize their heart was made of ice. And they were coming from a place of sexuality. This person could be hurting for money now. Whatever money they've been used to having, that's running out. It's in short supply. Yeah. You crushed this person's ego. They were vibing too low for you. And now that's, that's why they want to dig something up on you. They want to get back at you. I don't think it's in a very big way, but they just like to have some way of come up with some way of justifying their actions. But right now they're a little embarrassed to talk to you. Okay. They tried to diminish your value when you broke up. They, they tried to make you feel worthless. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was part of breaking your heart. Making you feel like you didn't matter to them at all. That you were just another option. Don't take this seriously. It was all just for fun. That kind of thing. And you might have told this person that you're not compatible. You just can't be compatible with anybody like this. Mm -hmm. Not compatible and you're moving on. Those of you who are looking for a new love, be patient. You've got one coming. Someone who wants to help you grow, not pull you down, not see you fail not want to hurt you or break your heart, but someone who actually wants to help you grow, wants to back you up. Now this person in your energy, they're being watched. And I don't think it's like in a good way. I think they're being watched now by possibly the law or just, you know, people that they've broken, other people that they've broken their heart 
or people that they've done wrong to or borrowed money from or whatever, but they're under suspicion of something. Mm -hmm. And they might be a little concerned that you found out about what this is. I've got the feeling that it has to do with you know, them being a heartbreaker and how they've treated people. I think it could be catching up with them now. People, you and other people are beginning to see by their, behind their secrets and their deceit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not the only one that's getting clued into what this person does. Yeah, this person uh, could have a double life. They live in a fast lane. And I don't think, you know, the community or the people that, that they're, they're around uh, really know about this or have known about this person's double life. I think it's secretive. But you and some other people are seeing behind these secrets of how this person lives in a, on the edge, actually. They could be very conservative, you know, to the community, or the crowd they're around, or who they work with, or whatever, but they have a, a um, you know, some sort of a dark side as they're uh, living in this fast lane. Or yeah, well, let's see here. Yeah, this person lives a faster, more edgy life than people suspect they do. Um, while they're out here, you know, teasing people's hearts open and playing with them and getting a kick out of manipulating them and controlling people through their emotions. Wow, yeah. This person's on a big ego trip. As if they're playing God, if as if they're, you know, getting into people's minds and hearts and then pulling their strings like a, you know, a mad puppeteer of some sort. This person sees you as, as marriage material, even after they've played these games with you. Now they're starting to see you as a as the making a good parent and they kind of fantasize or envision you know living with you in the future being your mate they do see you in a good light although they kind of like to get even with you or even up the score it seems like their their ego has been damaged and they don't like that The ego is the mask that they wore when they were conning you. And now they can't get you off their mind. Yeah. They just can't forget you. It's like you played the player here. Even Sometimes they even cry when they're thinking about you. And what they've lost, because obviously here it looks like uh, they see you in a high vibing light, maybe almost untouchable. They're embarrassed to talk to you. I don't know if they feel like they even deserve you at this point. Yeah, they suffer from mother's wounds. Their mother didn't give them the love they needed.
Well, they treated him coldly. They never really learned what love was or what love was all about. All they had was books and fantasies. They, they couldn't put it together because they'd never really experienced real love or thought they'd experienced love because their mother was maybe narcissistic or cold-hearted in some, some way. This person has pictures of you and then look at those pictures all the time and fantasize about you. Hmm. Yeah, th just looking at your pictures inspires them. More and more. And they want you more and more. So this person's coming around to some realization that they lost something good in their life. By acting like an ego maniac, basically. Going around thinking they were all powerful and they were basically having fun breaking people's hearts because it fed their ego, made them feel powerful. That's twisted. That is twisted. Well, I'm getting ready to go to Mexico next month, January, mid-month. So I'm excited and looking forward to that. I hope I have good Wi-Fi because I plan on taking my cameras and uh, doing some readings for you from down there. I won't be gone too long. But I have to come back from, to my band. I'm lucky to be able to get this getaway. But I made a deal with them when I put this band together that we'd uh, take a break in the wintertime so that those of us who wanted to travel or get away, needed a vacation, could do it. And then we'd come back in the spring and start up again. And they all agreed to it, so that's what's happening. I do enjoy playing with this band, though. There's six of us, and it's really a kick to play with that many good musicians. Well, it's like this person's having money problems all, all right. They've been scrounging for money. They've been looking at all kinds of avenues, even sneaky ones. There's that old King of Pentacles in reverse again. He just shows up too often. Could be a male or a female, doesn't matter. But they'll do almost anything for money. Especially when they don't have any. This person's going to come in and try and convince you. Maybe love bomb you, but they're going to try and convince you that uh, they're worthy of your affections. You might think their energy is a little radical, uh, but they're, they're going to try and convince you that you need to listen to them or Pay attention to what they're saying. And you're like, no, I'm taking a rest. I'm working on myself right now and what I really need in my life. I'm trying to work out some answers. You've been wondering if you should allow this person to come in and have a fresh start with you because you do care for him. You've seen the negative side to this person, though, and you're really unsure about your own feelings and you're unsure about them. But you're working on it. 
you're you're conveying you know, in, your thoughts and information. Yeah, you're dealing with your higher power here and trying to get some answers. Oh boy, yeah. They feel, for some reason, they feel like they got to come up with some money. And they don't really care how they get it right now. Because they want you back. They see you as the perfect one for them. You know, when you were dealing with this person and they weren't taking anything serious, they were just playing you, it looks like. Um, all along, they thought you were the perfect partner for them. They just didn't feel like they had enough to offer you. So they just kind of played you along, hoping that at some point in time, things would turn around and everything would be all right. But they just don't feel like they can afford you or they, they have what you need, what they need to give you. But I'll tell you what, when they come in, they're going to be talking about, you know, this passion, uh, twin flame energy. They, this person could lust for you. I think they do. That's, that's their thing right there. They're lustful. They replaced love with lust. So I don't know if this person knows how to love yet or not. If they clued into it, or if they're still the same, but they see you as their everything, and they want to they want to offer you a four of wands, which is security, foundation, fun, a home, friends, and great, you know, great passion. Sexual passion. They see that, and they're anxious for it. They're they're ready for you now. You're their fantasy. Hmm. This person had a big change of heart, change of character, something. You crushed their ego, so maybe they've had to take a good look at themselves. Okay, they're going to be coming in. They're going to make you an offer. They're going to try and, well, yeah, they're going to try and uh, convince you that they do have feelings for you. And they, they might open up this cold heart a little bit. That's what you're wondering. That's what you're hoping for anyway. You'd like to see them open up their heart. But this is the Knight of Cups, but the Knight of Cups isn't always one to be trusted. So even though they may come in all acting innocent or naive or shy or, or whatever, cute, some aspect, you're still not going to trust that cup of love. They're going to have to prove it somehow. They just can't come in as a knight and uh, start up with this con job again because you're not going to uh, let them go there like that. You're going to need proof. They're going to have to walk the walk. Yeah, you're in your emperor energy. And they see you as an emperor. They look up to you. They see you as everything that they want in a person. You've got it all. Your energy is balanced, you're loving, but yet you're powerful, you're, you're in control of yourself, you know what you want out of life, you're a leader, and they like that about you. This person's insecure, that's why they have a big ego. They, this ego is a mask that covers up their their insecurities. Yeah. The reason, like I say, that they they played you was because 
in their heart, they didn't think they were good enough for you. So they thought they would, if they could just get you to love them, give them unconditional love and all that, that that would just pump up their ego. So basically all they were doing was inflating their ego, possibly draining your energy like some you know, energy vampire or something. As they were you know, working on breaking your heart. Maybe this person doesn't set out intentionally to break people's hearts, but it just happens because that's their nature. That's, like I say, that's the twisted aspect here that's coming out as confusing to me in this reading. So this person is a very confusing person, and they confused the hell out of you, didn't they, Libra? Yep. Yeah. They see you as the perfect mate, but they are very negative that they're going to be able to have you. They're just not confident that you're, that they're going to be able to come back. They see you as a soulmate, a twin flame possibly. Yeah, they're all wrapped up in you now. Like I see, you're their fantasy. It's as if this person's heart was frozen shut and you took a chisel and opened it. They didn't think it would ever happen either and they didn't want it to happen because they didn't want to be hurt by love. Now this person is hurting. Exactly what they didn't want to happen to them is happening because of you. What you did to them. Yeah, they think that you're going to be mean to them. That you're going to send them away and reject them. So they see you as the perfect partner. They, they fantasize living with you and having a beautiful, wonderful life with you. And, you know, being passionate all the time. They're just romantic. It's real, real fantasy they're having. Uh, but then on the other hand, they just don't think they're going to get it. They think you're going to reject them. Yeah, you may have rejected them in the been the one to reject them, you know, in, in the past, and th they don't want you to do it again. Even though they broke your heart. Yeah, and you should reject them, you know. And they know that. Yeah, you know this person wants a second chance. They're de dealing with some karma right now. They're dealing with karma while you're rising up. You've learned a lesson out of this. A lesson that the universe wanted you to learn. But you're still wondering if you should give this person a second chance or not. But you could, like, be standing in your power, not budging. Mm -hmm. You're pretty happy right now. You've got just about everything you need, Libra. Except that one last cup of love. You got all the other cups you need. And you, you feel pretty good. You're feeling pretty good about yourself right now. Pretty powerful and... Uh, Maybe feeling a little selfish, like you, you just want to care about yourself now for a while. You're tired of giving and you just want to find yourself or stay in this comfort zone that you're in because I think you're enjoying where you're at right now, even though you were you know, you were very hurt and you had to commune with your higher power. You've pretty much got the picture. I think you know this person's going through some kind of karma for the way they've acted. And they've probably brought this karma on themselves because it was, it's coming in divine timing. They had to have their ego crushed, I think, before, you know, this judgment 
is being put upon them. Now they could also be being, being judged by you and being judged by these other people that they've done wrong to. So they're, they could be getting it from all sides right now. They know they bread crumbed you. And that's how they lost you. They kind of treated you, took you for granted, treated you like a doormat. While they were giving all the attention and energy that they should have been giving to you, they were giving to others. Yeah, all up in their ego, just thinking that possibly that you'd always be there, or they had you wrapped around their little finger, or something like that. Yeah, they, they're ghosting you right now. Or you're not talking. If you are, it's minimal. They could be a distance from you, too. I mean, some place that you'd have to travel to get to them. That doesn't have to be, but it could be like that. Um, yeah, I don't think you're in communication. Your ego is trying to punish you by not talking to you. You know? They're hoping that you'll come around, that you'll make the first move. Even though their ego has been bruised or crushed or whatever, uh, they haven't been able to make a move yet, not towards you. They're just really concerned that you're going to send them away, not accept them. You waited for this person a long time. You wanted him to catch up with you. You wanted him to vibe the way you vibe. Hi. But because of their mother issues, childhood issues, they just couldn't come around. They just didn't get it. You held down the fort, but every day it was a little more painful and a little more painful for you. Hmm. You're looking pretty good. I think you've been working on yourself. You're an attractive person, Libra, and, and uh, you can be a little spoiled too, because you're kind of used to getting what you want. But you're fun to be with, you're a good friend, honest, mm, a little undisciplined at times, but you're adventuresome. You do like to have a good time. And that's where you're at right now. You're rather enjoying your position. Maybe you're getting some bit of enjoyment out of knowing that this person is suffering or going through this karma. You might be like, well, they deserve it. And if they're getting karma from the universe, the higher power, then they, they do deserve it. You know, karma is not such a bad thing all the time. We we go through karma, karmic situations a lot, most of us. You know, it could be good karma, it could be negative karma. But, you know, we're on the karma wheel all the time. Okay. This person could be having a pity party. They're feeling a little sorry for themselves. Yeah, they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're looking back at all the mistakes they made, and what, saying, why me? It's a pity party. There's, there's some guilt there, though, too, but this guilt is, is pushed back. They don't want to look at it. They don't want to look at the genuine truth. Even though they may know these negative things about themselves, they don't want to look at it. They'd rather just feel the victim. Hmm. 
Well, they're not going to get you back. In that way, you're, you're going to remain a fantasy in their mind. This person doesn't change. Oh, okay. Ace of Swords. Okay. They're not communicating with you now. They know that they have to come in and tell you the truth. They're going to have to send you some form of it, you know, text, email, call you, get a hold of you somehow. I don't know if this person's brave enough to talk to you face to face right now. They're just too embarrassed. But they might even have written things out to you about how they feel or trying to explain their situation or whatever, and then deleted it because they just didn't have the nerve to go through with it. But I believe they're eventually going to come in and give you some clarity and truth. If they want to have anything to do with you, they're going to have to be truthful. That's all there is to it. Like I say, you're on your throne. You're in your emperor or empress energy. You've done a lot of thinking. Uh, connecting with your spirituality has given you more personal power. You've realized some things. You know, all you ever really wanted to do was have this person at least show up in the Knight of Cups energy. You know, just gently roll in, tell you their feelings, be genuine, and then take it from there. There didn't need to be all this confusion and uh, roadblocks and deceit and uh, all this stuff. This person liked you from the start. Like I said, they just couldn't. They just couldn't believe that they'd ever end up with you. They thought they'd end up getting their heart broken again. And they had long since closed their heart off to love. Love to them was just going out and having fun and being lustful. That's as far as they took it. It's as far as they took it. Oh. But when you started discovering some of their secrets... And, you, and their childhood wounds. You, you might have given them more. When you started to discover things about this person that weren't really their fault, things that had scarred them in youth, that's when you started to give them more leeway. You started to think, well, this person might heal. I realized that I've been waiting because I know this person has issues, and I'm hoping they'll heal. Maybe I can help them heal. You can't. Uh, but when these issues started to come to light, you decided you'd wait a little longer and see what would happen. Because you weren't really blaming them. You love this person, so you wanted to see every avenue of light that you could. You want to expose any, you know, or shine any light on this that, that you could in, in hopes that this person would grow or heal. So you waited. You waited with positive expectations. You didn't know if they were ever going to come around, but you gave them a benefit of the doubt because you knew they were wounded. And that's very you know, benevolent of you, Libra, considering that they probably broke your heart. You know, a long, have a long trail of broken hearts behind them. In their wake. You're just uh, one who tried and failed, but you didn't fail. You may have thought you were just one 
of a long line of options that tried and failed. But you're the one who didn't fail. You walked away. Or someone, when this thing separated, You were the one that affected this person. Like I say, you took a chisel and a hammer to their heart and cracked it open. Man, you're still trying to decide, you know, yeah. You're still trying to decide, still trying to make up your mind. You're just not decisive. You're still confused. A lot of you are still um, asking your higher power to give you the answers. You don't know what you should do. If this person's got wounds that need to be healed and everything like that, the thing is, no matter how bad you want this person or you want them to get on your vibe, on your wavelength, they're just not going to be able to do it with just your aid alone. They're going to have to, you know, seek some professional help or really, really go deep inside. Really work on themselves. Because I've not only got the Mother's Wounds card here, but I have, in the same row, I have the Moon in reverse. And that always implies to me, well, usually implies to me, well, it depends on what other cards it's with, that this person has uh, childhood issues, trauma from, from, from youth. And that just clarifies that for me, being here with this Mother's Wounds card. So, yeah, you know it too. So that's made it a little rough for you. Knowing this person does have issues, you've given them more time than, than you normally would want to give somebody. Hmm. Okay. I'm getting some real nervous energy off of these cards today. I don't what, know what it is exactly, but I think this person is really, really nervous. They want to talk to you. They want to come racing in. They know time is running out. Time is of the essence. And they've kept you waiting a long time. But they just, they just can't do it. It's a combination of their fear and their ego holding them back. They're just, but they're a nervous wreck right now because they can't get you off their mind. And it's, it's driving them crazy. They've always been able to, you know, push people's energy away, not, not get emotional with people, uh, just have fun, you know. Treat the relationships just lustfully and, you know, move on to the next victim or whatever you want to call it. But it appears to me that you were, since this person had an idea that this wasn't going to last um, from the beginning, I feel that you were victimized by this person, Libra. They had no intention of seeing this thing through because they just didn't think they were good enough for you. They just couldn't believe that you'd ever really want them because they have low self-worth. They feed their ego by hurting people who really care about them. If you love them, they will feed off that energy to inflate their ego. See, I know I'm repeating myself, but like I said, I'm getting all this really, really confusing, swirling, nervous, anxious energy from the cards today, more so than usual. This person needs more time. They're in a 
They've got to get out of this cycle. They've got to break this cycle. They need time to heal. And then they can progress. They will progress if they just follow through with healing, taking time. Taking time. And I'm sure you don't want to hear that. If you're in love with this person or, you know, this, this could be in the past. This story could be in the past. It could be now. Or it could be coming up. But they're going to need to heal in order to progress with you. I've been saying that all along. And they're saying that they're going to take action soon. Just please believe in them. They want you to believe in them now. That they're going to be sincere. That they're going to be honest. But if they have these scars and this trauma, they can come in and be honest and as truthful as they can be with you now and then revert back to this old cycle. Because they're insecure and it's kind of a comfort zone for them to, to be, wear this mask and Feed this ego. Yeah, they, don't, they don't think you're ever going to forgive them. That's why they're so nervous. They, like a, they fantasize about you. They can't get you off their mind. and They really feel that you're a soulmate or a twin flame. They, they really want you in their life now. But you're just not going to ever forgive them. They're scared of that. Yeah, <laughs> they're over here in the uh, Five of Cups in reverse, feeling sorry for themselves because they were hurt by you. And they want you to feel, feel it, you know, because you're an empath. They want you to feel how you hurt them. And they may play the victim. They may even play off of this mother's wounds thing here that, their toxicity. I don't know, but yeah, part of their, you know, reason for that they wanted to dig up some information on you, maybe hold against you or use to defend themselves. They can't find any inf bad information about you. They just, you just never did anything wrong. Yeah, they're, they're kind of angry because you did hurt him. You did get hurt. And like I said, this person hasn't been hurt in a relationship for a long time. They're the ones that's been doing all the hurting. So you turn the table on them. You played the player in a sense. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. Yeah. That's what's happening here. They can't process love. So they turned it into lust. Yeah, you're finding out things. Yeah, things are coming to light for you. And you're, you're healing. You're, you're having to adapt to, to what's going on here. It's been hurtful, but you're, you're getting your wings back, Libra. Yeah, you're ready to fly again. You're getting ready to fly again. Some of you want this person back. Some of you feel that twin flame energy with them. Mm-hmm. They wanted, you wanted them to bring you this cup of love a long time ago. But you stood in your power. When they started getting the, receiving their karma, you just kind of took a back seat, stood to the side. And you watched, you're watching. I think you're watching what's going on. If you're not watching them, then you're feeling it. You're feeling all this energy. I think this person has such a connection to you. They're so emotional. They're so energetically drawn towards you that you feel it. Even if you're a distance, even if you're a long way away. 
you can still feel it when they're really up in their emotions about you. You feel it. You feel it. You might not even be thinking about this person and all of a sudden they just come into your mind and you feel strange. That's them. That's them. But like I say, you're getting your wings back. You're getting back into your comfort zone. You're regaining your power, your personal power. And things are looking up for you. You might be even a little bit nervous when you think about this person coming back. Because you don't know what they're going to say or, or do or how they're going to act exactly. But because you have this twin flame energy between you, real passionate energy, you kind of think that they might come back and try and love bomb you. I don't think that's so much the case this time. I think, if anything, they're going to be trying to be a little bit more sincere with you. And I think they might go to this just to have a leg to stand on. They might, you know, visit this mother's wounds thing on you, you know, Start talking about that. They may have told you about it before, maybe not, but they might open up about that again. I got a feeling that you know about these mother, mother's wounds. That they may have told you about them, you found out about it, and that's why you gave them a break. That's why you gave them more time than you should have. Okay. You're very close to achieving your goal. Whatever you're set out to do, it's going to happen. Yeah, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Like I've been saying all along, I think uh, 2024 is going to be a good year for you. I think that's when you're going to start receiving a lot of your breasts. <clears throat> A lot of your blessings. There may be a lot of surprises for you. Pleasant surprises coming up. Yeah, you may need to release some things. Some people, some things. You might need to give your house a good, thorough cleaning. Throw away a bunch of stuff. Go to the Goodwill. You might have to release some people, or at least their energy from around you. You want to feel as free and easy as you can. And the universe wants you to know that you and your loved ones are safe. There's nothing to fear. Look forward to the new year. That's a poem. Nothing to fear. Look forward to the new year. Well, okay. We'll look at this situation again some more next time. Thanks for stopping by the old Swedes bungalow. Peace and love to you.